The story of this cello has many layers. They're all carbon, and now the layers have hardened into the shape of a concert instrument. At this point, you can't make music with it though, because the inner workings have yet to be constructed. A process that's a carefully orchestrated performance. The cello frames need a bit of bodywork. They're roughed up with sandpaper. Then a polyurethane clear coat is sprayed on to protect the surface. Then it's over to the string specialist, called a luthier. He sets a roughly cut wooden bridge on top of the cello and measures the position. The placement of this bridge needs to be exact because its job is to elevate the strings and transfer their vibrations to the instrument. Using a grease pencil, the luthier maps out the position of the bridge between the F-holes and then sets it aside. Now he slips the wooden sound post into one of the F-holes and wedges it between the front and back of the cello. The sound post is crucial. It will strengthen the cello and couple the string's vibrations between the front and back of the instrument. This is delicate and highly skilled work. He measures to determine if the sound post is on the mark. If it's off by even a millimeter, he adjusts it a bit more. Afterwards, he double checks the bridge's position. Then, with a red grease pencil, he colors over the spots where the feet of the bridge are to sit. He presses the bridge's feet into the grease marks, and this makes red smears on the feet. The smears tell him where to shave the wood, so that it will fit perfectly onto the cello. The bridge doesn't get glued down. It's held in place only by the tension of the strings. Next, the luthier makes pencil marks on both tips of a measuring stick. He leans the stick against the bridge at the same angle as the strings that will run over it. He then transfers the pencil marks from the stick to the top of the bridge. He rounds off the marks by penciling around a template. And then he carves the bridge down to size. He planes it down to make it thinner. With a file, he cuts grooves to cradle the strings. Now, he moves to the bottom of the instrument and slides a spike called an end pin into a pre-cut hole. The end pin will rest on the floor, studying the cello. He lassoes the end pin with plastic rope, which is attached to the tailpiece and he rests the tailpiece on the belly of the cello. He pulls the steel strings from the pegs and hooks them onto the tailpiece. Like most classical string instruments, the cello has four strings. Now, the strings are slid into the grooves on the bridge. The pegs are turned to tighten the strings. The strings push down on the bridge, holding it in place. Then the cello is tuned, and it's now ready for a full-scale performance. <laughs> 